welcome back welcome everybody to the royal kingdom estate platform we are on site today as well this is another site video you know this property i don't i think we need to name it so that introducing it will be better we'll all collectively find a name for it but um this is the property that we started from the ground and here is where we are we took an update very recently with engineer george where he showed us you know um the demarcations the rooms how it's going to be the pipe settings it was a whole round full tour of the property but now that i'm back i'm here with engineer george and i see the walls are so higher yes this so, property is progressing very yeah, fast very fast very wow fast, I um so the height is what is recommended on a drawing okay. but then we have uh, a beam of 150 okay. on top before we reach the final base and okay. then we do the slab so right. we are standing on the porch. This is the porch yes, area. This is the okay. porch area. The okay. porch is elevated one meter above the ground level. So okay. we have some steps bringing us here I before see. proceeding into the. So this is their the view. Yeah, this is their view. Yes. It's an interesting yeah. one. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's run through okay, very so quickly. I the, see. This is the porch, right? This is the porch. I see the boarding. Um, this is the foam here. work. Foam uh -huh. work for a column, reinforced concrete. Okay. So we have the steel in this mm -hmm. before we pour the concrete that, that makes it a reinforced concrete column oh yes without the reinforcement it just become a mass concrete or just mass column yeah. i see yeah so you were talking about the boardings in so here. this is this is called a form work okay so in every structure mm -hmm. we do the form work at where concrete are needed right okay so we have a column over here reinforced concrete column you can see that you know that's a 16 mm iron rod okay six six number uh -huh. and then we do the column box around it then okay. we cast to get a column what we call pillar okay so we call it column the technical term is column, it's column. Yes. I as see. you can see from outside mm -hmm. so you bought those ones These and ones cast as them well. as well i see that's wonderful is there a reason why um the top is is, is binded that's <laughs> that is very very observant <laughs> usually we tie the top so it doesn't scatter away what, do you, what put, do you mean scatter away i see they all go in different directions okay so you put them together just to control their oh. movement yes that's and when you tie right. it like that it doesn't change it doesn't you know, change the position anything, the no. placement it doesn't change anything oh, so okay. when we are continuing we take it off okay and then we continue from there i yes. see so all of these are going to be re yes. reinforced we'll as bought, well we'll bought, the, the reinforcement is the rod is itself. a rod itself yes. okay. so we do form work around it uh -huh. and then we cast oh. then we come a column reinforced column right yes. what's what's inside it this is the wet concrete or the wet mortar okay so when you put the the concrete in some of the water will seep out i see anyway, because of the line that is exposed uh -huh. here. So, so it's, when it's, it's dry normal. it's going well, to take yes. form and yes. then you take it to take the off. shape of your form wave. okay yes. and then these will go off it will go off. wonderful where are we standing right now this is the hall living so, area the living area large yeah very the other big. day you guys i was so excited i was just running around i said if this was my property mm. i wake up in the morning just start from here <laughs> roll on to the <laughs> other side <laughs> so this is one of the bedrooms okay this one is, of the bedrooms yeah one of the bedrooms and seats actually has its own washroom oh this, this is what we call self-contained self well <laughs> we call it ensued because it has a washroom embedded in it okay so this is the washroom oh wonderful we've done the pipings for it okay and then we proceed does every there. bedroom have a washroom or Not, just a few of them it depends on what the client wants okay. Okay. or what the architect has put right. up uh -huh. but usually some clients want their washrooms to be part of their room so, so this was a recommendation yeah, this, yeah. by the client that is wonderful i see some boardings this here is a as, form well. Work as well so there's a okay. there's a column here as well uh -huh. and then we do the boarding as i said earlier on and then we cast at what parts of the property do you do do, do the so board it is work? prescribed by the structural engineer okay. we just don't get up and put columns at where okay. we need the structural okay. engineer knows the load that is going to be imposed on a building okay. both the live load and yeah. then the dead load uh -huh. so he will calculate and tell us the, the distances that the column should be okay the number of iron rods that should be put in the column right the distance that we should tie them as in their spacing yeah. of the stairs mm -hmm. and then where we place them oh. so the structural engineer will do that in collaboration with the architect okay and then they give the drawing to us and, and then, then we you follow what they have prescribed do. Yes. i see these are windows yeah these are windows very large windows <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're <Yes>. huge <laughs> you can it's see a, the entire view yes, just from here meter window two meters yeah, two meters I see. The same for side, that side as in well. Front, yes. Okay. So you said this is two meters. Yes, yes, this is two meters. Why is this so wide? Okay. Usually, if you are using the 
glazing type of window. Those are the glass ones that you see mm -hmm. in town. Yeah. Usually 50% of the window is closed. Okay. So if it is smaller, you have a smaller space for airflow. Oh. Once it's larger, you have 50% closed. That means you have one meter of space where air will pass through I into see. your room. You need more air. Exactly. You don't want to Ventilation use your fan all the time. So key. natural air coming in will take half off because you always have one wind, one side open. Yeah. That is half of whatever we have here being okay. open. We want more air to come in both from the side and then from the front. Okay. Yes. See, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um, let's come back to the the boardings that you've done. That's, so that's the, the concrete that you put inside. Yes. When did this start? When did you start the boardings? Uh, we started last, like Monday. Okay. The carpenters did the boarding on Monday. Okay. And today we are here to to cast. Them. Usually, how long does it take for the concrete you put in for, to dry up? For prescribed period of concrete is 21 days for 21 concrete to days. cure properly okay. what you say dry we say cure. cure for concrete to cure properly 21 days okay yes oh. mm. is there what happens if <laughs> you take it off before well, the 21 well, days if, if there's going to be load on it, yeah. you need to allow to the be. time to yeah, set and cure Solid, properly. I see. There could be a lot of things. If you take it before the 21 days, if the cabinets are striking this off because uh -huh. of the, their hammer works, yeah. vibrations will take. Exactly. There could be crack that you not see with your eyes. Right. You have to test to know. But once there are cracks, failure has begun. Exactly. You wouldn't know. You don't yeah. wait for the building to collapse before the build, before you say the building has failed. Yeah. But once there's a crack that you cannot see with your eyes in it, it has failure failed. has already begun. Yes. Wow. That's interesting. So you, you wait meant, for 21 yeah. days, uh -huh. you strike off, okay. inspect it. If there are any honeycombs, we mm. patch it up or we correct it. We Is remedy. there any honeycombs? They are, they are pores where the concrete okay. didn't go, they are voids. Okay, okay, okay. We patch it up, yeah, I think do I the remedy works, about, right? and then we proceed from there. Ah. You mentioned dead load. Yeah. What's that? Okay. Dead loads and live loads are two things we factor into calculation of structures. Yeah. Now the dead loads are the loads that are going to be imposed in the building. Those those objects that are not movable, okay. like your TV sets, your the plastering from or the wall, yeah. those items that cannot move, those are the dead loads. They are constantly imposed on the building. Yeah. But then the live loads are you and I are weights okay. combined imposed okay. on a building okay. Okay. so at the point in time the two of us our weight could be maybe 10 10 kilogram okay. or 10 kg or yeah. 10 something imposed on the building mm -hmm. when our number increases to 50 people the total it, number it, of it weights up, right. that is imposed on the building that is that is live load those okay. those are movable those are they they, they can change okay. but then the dead load doesn't change they are always constant yes. I see okay all right so we've seen the bathroom the right dance. here if we go this way where are we heading um so we have visitors washroom or visitors bathroom okay. here and then we have a wait a, so this is the living area this is the, living area. This is the visitors, visitors washroom, washroom okay yes. so it's, so it's there's connected some yes there's right. some small okay, uh, okay, okay space in between that's nice now here because our pipes are going to pass through the wall and the concrete above that's when we do the decking uh -huh. we usually prescribe the pressure pipes yes i think so the pressure was, pipes are usually yeah. stronger than the normal pipes yes, yes, in the yes, market yes, yes, yes. yes we installed this in the previous mm. episode yep. if you guys haven't seen it please just go down we have a lot of videos on this building mm. on the platform so just watch it run through with us so you are up to speed yep. so yeah the last time we came the pipes i could see the pipes yes. right now i can barely see them Yes, it's, it's in the wall. Ah. We've treated it so you can see where it is coming from mm -hmm. all the way. But then we've, we've treated it so that you would even see yeah. that it is there. And then we continue to the slab. Okay. I think in the last session, we mentioned that. Four inches size. Yes, it's very durable very, very and durable. it can last yes. even in the walls. It takes, it takes so the pressure. Much pressure yes. ah. mm -hmm. So they are called pressure pipes. So this is for the wc okay this is for the wash hand basin okay and then the ones coming from top we run them through the wall through this or one. you can run them through the columns as well but because through the, of the columns yes you can run through them through the columns how after the reinforcement is placed you, uh -huh. you pass a pipe through oh. the columns and then before you before you board them you board. Cast, okay yes. but then depending on the position of the uh, washrooms or any items above yeah will tell you where the pipe should be I see. So our, our wash and basin or the WC are going to be along this line. Okay. So we need a so pipe. So that's why it's placed position. here. Yes. Ah, wonderful. That's it. Wow. Guys, I'm learning. <laughs> and this so is... So we're going to have the staircase in this area. Staircase yeah, to upstairs. Staircase to the top, yes. Hmm. Why, the, why, why this position though? 
this is where the client wants it to be okay. or this is where the structural engineer prescribed that we put it okay. so this whole space is going to be the staircase the we staircase. start from this way mm -hmm. climb up a bit then turn and then go so it's going to be a spiral not spiral but then it's going to be like a half quarter okay so you go straight wow. climb up turn i think we are going to have two turns and then to the next floor huh we were supposed to do a starter column for where the staircase we have a how do i even put it a starter columns okay. or starter beams for the staircase okay so you start from this concrete uh -huh. you place the reinforcement to the top okay they, they i told you they have to connect yeah they communicate together so exactly. they drag and pull along mm -hmm. each other and we were supposed to do that but because it's still better to fabricate in time oh. we have done that we have cast this place already the, the but when you can we just cut for him to bury it and okay. then we finish it you out. just cut the yeah, portion cut the that portion that is supposed to bury the okay. reinforcement and that won't affect no no it won't, affect, already... it won't affect it already made the space no. okay okay all right great mm -hmm. what are we looking at now and this is kind of a, a storage a storage space yes okay and just That's to nice. put some home items yeah it's mm. big yes. one thing i love about this building is the space yeah, yeah. the space is amazing you remember when i came here the first time That's when you were now starting i said ah this it structure is small anyway. oh it's, but oh, this looks no. so huge in the marking out stage you think it's small yeah but as you progress I was like, ah, full size. how how will a king size yes. bed even fit in here so this is where the kitchen is going to be oh wow you can see we've buried I the pipe for the space this is going to be the kitchen sink okay so we've buried the pipe for this one as well right yes i really love it the kitchen also gets two Three, windows two windows that's yes. amazing windows. it's always nice but to if, have if you are fast enough you realize the level for the window uh -huh. varies yeah the kitchen is a bit higher than the bedrooms what's the reason because of the cabinet that you fix in oh, the kitchen right. they okay. all have height they all have measurements exactly so you need that measurement to to work with so you do so, all of these calculations prior to even starting you if need the to the architect know. is the architect does that prescribe all those things in the okay. drawing so we measure and then know where we are right. supposed to do all those things yes huh. but if the architect omits it we we usually have done this over time so you, so you know you it definitely know you have okay. to yes we have Wonderful. a storage the kitchen Another, storage, the kitchen storage. okay it's also big too sorry this is the laundry oh this, this is, is like the laundry, laundry so instead. you can see a pipe for the washing machine right. as well okay and then the storage is backwards it's this way yes. okay nice laundry next to the kitchen this is the storage and that's the store oh yes. kitchen kitchen store <laughs> wow you guys and this is the studio this is the studio i think the other day we didn't get to enter oh, the okay. studio so let's do that so today. this is the studio this is it can you sing not really. Can you get some no. dance hall vibes? No? Not really. I'm not a music <laughs> person, so. But I can mime along the songs anyway. Can yes, you give yeah, us a freestyle? Yeah. Oh, not now. <laughs> let, let me go and rehearse and then I'll Guys, come request it in the comment <laughs> let section. Me go and rehearse we need Mr. George on the MIC. But okay, so, so this is the studio. We're going to bury a staircase over here as well. A the next floor, again? yes. It's a story building. Oh. Yes, so this this area is for the staircase, and then we have some small storage underneath the staircase. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. How uh, so? Like, what what's what's the procedure for the studio going to be? Because I know if it's a studio, it has to be soundproof. Yes, to that's, a certain that's the next level. Uh, Oh, so when we finish the block, where we are going to uh, those things are the finishing stages. Okay. We, we include all of them. Yes. Okay. Okay. I can't wait till we get there because I want to see okay how so it's going to go studio space itself okay and then he has a booth the recording booth over here right here then all these places are going to be soundproofed okay. so no sound comes you no know sound goes no. out here so if if you're done and i come and stand here and i scream nobody you're not going you. to hear me you scream you scream for yourself <laughs> yes i see that's really Let, really let's really let's come nice. back here like come and have a look at this again okay so this is how usually a typical column is is like. So these are the starter columns from okay. the foundation, the sub, the sub base. Yeah. Okay, I think I remember seeing yes. these. And then we continue with the longer ones. Oh. We tie. You have to connect them all the time. So you tie them together. Yeah. 
these are the intervals I spoke to the, the last time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. These are the intervals. These are the stirrups. Okay. So you are tying them at 200 centers. Okay. These are the, the centers are the intervals. And they are exactly the, the same. The same thing. They are okay. all, if you measure, you know, they are always 200, 200, 200. That will be prescribed by the structural engineer. Okay. So we go by his prescription. You just get up and do whatever we want. Right. Right. Okay. So we've seen the studio. Yep. We've literally rounded up everything. Yes. What level are you at? Okay, the so block the block work here we are the lintel level. Lintel. Lintel is usually the beam on top of the windows and door openings. Oh. So whatever we have a block work above that, but you can't lay the block work in space. Right. So you have to lay it on something. So the lintel comes between above the door uh -huh. and then that of the window. I see. But if it is not on a door or a window, mm -hmm. it's just a normal beam. Right. Do, do you understand? Yes, please. Come inside. Let me show you something. Okay. So we are going to put, we are going to have a slab on top of this. As in, this. We, would, yeah, we would deck and then we would cast a, another floor on okay, this. Okay, right. Now, if the, the the slab has to sit on something, mm -hmm. so the slab will sit on this block work. Oh. But before that, the concrete is much more heavier for the blocks to carry. Yeah. So we do for this section, we will do a beam. Okay. Because there's block work here, yeah. so the beam will be on top before the slab will come. Right. But then for this section. Will be a lintel. Okay. okay. Is that the same okay. thing by two technical yes, yes, yes. names? So I'm this becomes it. a lintel. For this, it becomes a, a beam. beam. Okay. Then the slab will come on okay. top. Okay. So that it will be able to carry the that load when you're doing. And then the... they all connect to the columns. Oh. They all connect. They communicate or tie exactly. them to the column. I think so I'm seeing how they become like the bone structure, as yeah. my boss would say, yeah. in yeah. unison. Yeah. yeah. It's all, connected. all going. We go together. Everybody's playing a part. That is it. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> well, guys. This is where we are at for this property. I am fairly excited for it. Every time that I come here, I tell you guys that I'm always excited to see the updates and the upgrades that you're doing. Um, I think you've given us a, an overview of everything. So when I come here next time, what am I to expect? Uh, you see, if you come, if you are late, in my cast before you come. Oh, I'll try not to be late. <laughs> I would have loved you be here. You see how the boarding is done okay. to carry the next concrete okay. fix. We'll, but when we'll we start, I'll let you guys here. know about it. Definitely. Please then communicate you can so we can come cover it, it for our lovely yeah. audience. So guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video, share it, turn on your post notifications so that every time we post, you will not miss it. Stay glued to the channel. We'll be back with more content.